this is a bit unusual, but I am doing a twin flame reading and I know it's for somebody. It is completely random. I did a daily reading yesterday and it just, I don't know. It just feels like this needs to be for someone. So if you're catching this, then you're the right person to be hearing it, okay? Because you're in some kind, ooh. You're in some, oh my God, you're in some kind of dilemma with somebody. And I don't know, here we go. Ooh, okay, yeah, some of you are estranged from somebody. Some of you, it's long distance. And again, this may only resonate with one or two people, but it's just a message I feel like, wow, really needed to be heard by somebody. Oh my God, okay. I'm gonna clarify some of those as well. Some of you are separated from somebody. They might have run from you. They, it may be someone you met through work. I've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. It feels like it got too much for somebody. Ten of Wands in the reverse. It just, the burden of this got too much. Thinking about it got too much. For some of you, there's been circular arguments with this person, the same argument time and time again, and now they've gone silent. Page of Cups in the reverse. Now we are in Mercury retrograde, okay? So, It just feels at the moment that Spirit is giving the message that the divine timing of this is off. I've got, this is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And that's my card as well for Mercury Retrograde and for divine timing being a bit kind of wobbly. Now in the middle of the reading, the Seven of Swords. Neither of you this relationship got to the point where it wasn't bringing out the best in either of you. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is not a time for solidity and security. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is when you like move in with someone, you share a door key, joint bank account, all that stuff. What do we need to know? It just feels like this is a time, yeah, this is a time for separation. And it's kind of necessary. Whoa. I'm just doing some clarifiers. The message is really, whoa. Murky. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, you're wishing and hoping and praying this person would offer. You really want to speak to this person. You really want to make it happen with this person. But they are definitely going through some things. Okay, no question of it. Over here, we had the Eight of Swords in reverse. That's breaking free of something. That's running off. That's going and the sadness that follows behind it. Three cups down, two cups remain, okay? Over here, we had the Eight of Pentacles. Something was not working out between the two of you. The kind of logistics, the practical stuff. Pentacles are practical things. You know, how you visit each other, uh, money, houses, all that kind of stuff, the nuts and the bolts. For that, again, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody has cut adrift. They may not live near you. There may be some long distance element. Because over here, 
I've got the three of wands, which is the card of abroad, you know, the card of somebody in being more, you see this guy's kind of staring over at the ship. And then the four of wands, the 11, 11 card in the reverse. This relationship, the message that I'm getting here, this relationship is in, if relationships go like that, it's definitely in a season of disruption. And that's the message. It's a season of disruption. Now, page of cups in reverse twice. We've got that twice over here and over there. Woo. And for that, the two of swords. Again, it feels like there's nothing you can do. There's the blindfold. There's the two swords across the heart. It's self-protection. It's meditation. This person, you may be angry because they may have said they wanted those things, they wanted the commitment, they wanted the to take it to the next level. And then with the Seven of Swords, it feels like betrayal. For a lot of you, this silence feels like betrayal. And the message that I'm getting at the moment is this does not make sense. Don't try and make sense of it. It's a... Mercury retrograde sometimes works in really interesting ways, especially when it comes to stuff like this. You desperately want to make sense of it, but your best position is actually that. The reason that she has the blindfold on is because this is about not what you can see. This is about what you know inside. Intuition, the third eye, okay? Seeing without your eyes. Notice the new moon. We have a new moon in Sagittarius and Mercury goes retrograde the day before. It's on the 7th of December. There will not be any clarity until then. So don't even, you know, relax. Don't even try. I wouldn't even bother reaching out to this person. They will not be reaching out to you just yet. Don't worry about that. It's the best way it could be. Then for the Ten of Wands, the Hierophant. The Commitment card. Let's just take some love cards. Okay, yeah. You're working through some issues, both of you, and the issues that you've triggered in each other. This is a soul contract. Now, sometimes people hear that and they think to themselves, oh, it's romantic, you know, so our, our souls are contractually joined. Yeah, it is romantic in some ways, but it's really painful. And this is the painful part of it that you're in at the moment. There's a sense of loneliness on your part. There's a sense of grief on your part, okay? There is a glimmer of hope on the horizon. The two cups remain upstanding but it feels like a tiny golden thread, okay? Pain. Both of you are carrying a shared pain. Really important. Manipulation. The Seven of Swords in the middle. The feeling I get from this is not just that this person manipulates you, but that some of your behaviours towards each other have become manipulative both of you and then we get luck that's what you're not expecting okay but until the seventh until we get into that new moon energy in Sagittarius and until Mercury goes the right way there probably or sh probably shouldn't be any communication so try and relax on that front because I'm definitely getting that some of you are feeling really jittery Page of Cups in reverse twice. I mean, that's like, why haven't I heard from this person? The tribe. The tribe, okay? Be with your tribe in the meantime. Whoever that is for you. Your friends, your family. You know, people's tribes are very, very different. For some of us, it's family. For some of us, it's people on the internet. For some of us, it's our friend up the road. It's your dog. It doesn't matter be with your tribe in the meantime okay you are not going to end up alone i've got the nine of pentacles in the reverse 
that's my card that's always a little message from spirit saying nope <laughs> you're not going to wither on the vine you're not going to end up alone but make no mistake there is a working out here of some very painful issues which you and the other person are contractually joined to sort out now that's difficult it's challenging it's painful it will not benefit from conversation right now wait until the new moon on the 7th yay healing with the angels oracle card and answered prayer okay that is prayer not looking not seeing not talking praying yes So that's a message for anyone who needed to hear it. If it's you, it will resonate with you, okay? It won't resonate with everyone. It's quite specific. I've never done a spontaneous reading like that before. So whew, leave me a comment. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box. Check out the December readings and my pick a card readings as well. And do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Namaste.